Hello and welcome back to my channel. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you the uh, new Batman Arkham Knight from the uh, Flame Toys. Now, I know Flame Toys. Uh, in the past, I seen their a lot of their promo photos and their Transformer lines. And I don't know whether they're actually good or not. I never owned one before. But uh, mainly the reason why because there seems to be a little bit expensive and they are not cheap actually. Um, but I got this one on sale for a hundred and forty pound from the Kapow toy in the UK. Now believe it or not, the original price for this figure is over two hundred and twelve pound for something that only tall as eight inches and uh, made of loads of plastic and some die cast piece actually. But nevertheless, eight inches tall for two hundred pound. It's just crazy, you know. It's more like a Bandai Metal Build line price, actually. So my first question is: Is it worth it? Well, I don't know. Let's find out. So I bought it. I got it now, and uh, first impression is not bad, you know. And the box looks premium. And uh, when I open it, I thought, okay, not too bad. Um, it looks really cool. It has all the uh little little details in here. It looks really, you know, attention to detail, spot on. Uh, it has so many moving parts there in fact this one has over 80 point articulation which is insane and if you look at their promo photos and there are a lot of you know poses that you can do so possibility is not a problem in these figures if you love the you know uh, your action figures in a posing in a loads of different dynamic way this is the one to go for you know so this is really cool um so uh you know, but there are things that I'm not really keen on, and I'll talk about this in a video in a minute. But let's talk about the uh, first uh, bunch of stuff that it comes with it. So it comes with a bunch of uh, hands, uh, as usual, but, you know, all the fists and stuff, as usual. So you got this uh, holding dagger, a uh, sword, whatever you call that. Uh, this is the hands that comes with it. And you also have the relaxed hands. And you can use that for either on a three point learning pose as a relaxed hands or holding a gun or whichever like that. And you also have the trigger and hand as well, which is also nice. And the box is really nice. The box is really premium color quality, so it's really big cardboard, uh, thick cardboard box here. So you got flame toys at the bottom, and then you got this uh, really nice uh, pr promo. Photos here, and this front cover. I'm really hoping that it has LED lighter point on the eye, and you know that you got the I have three zero uh, Iron Man here. It has two at least two LED lighter point here. I mean, this is definitely you know possible in the three zero, and why can't they do that in this one as well? Which is a shame. I look at everywhere on the instruction manuals and everything. I don't see any battery compartments or any suggestion that you can actually turn on the lights on the eye. Which is a shame, really. And at the bottom, you got some Batman logo. Sorry about that for touching the camera. And then um, at the back, you got all this um, information. As you can see, you got PVC, uh, ABS, Palm, and then you got die cast. So you know me, I don't buy anything without a die cast written part on a box, you know. And I only collect the die cast figures and model cars. And some people in my channel commented, is there any die cast? Well, come on, man. Check out my title name. Title name is saying Die Cast Collector. <laughs> you know, uh, isn't that obvious? I mean, like someone asked me, like, uh, is there any die cast in your in that figures? Wow, <laughs> I don't know what to say here. Um, so yeah, I only collect the die cast related figures and model car, and that's why I refuse to go to raising model car because I don't want raising. It has to be die cast or at least some kind of component and die cast in the figures somewhere. Apart from the Hot Toy Spider Mans and you know uh, Captain Marvels and other. 1 6 figures because I just love these figures and I just can't do anything about it because they don't make in die cast. I mean, it, it's not natural because, uh, you know, if you look at Iron Man's and it's, you can easily put die cast on it, but if it's a Spider Man and stuff, how are you going to put a you know, die cast piece in a Spider Man? They are like more natural look, isn't it? With the clothes and you can swing around, it has to be flexible and so on. So that's why, you know, um, other than that, every other figure is more like you know die cast on it anyway so let's talk about this guy accessory and the paint jobs and all this stuff 
So as you can see here, uh, the paint is really not too bad. I mean, you got all the red and black and some gun metal, silver parts, and it all looks really, really nice. So attention to detail on this figure is really spot on, you know. Um, it has so many little moving parts and it has some of these little pieces can easily come off and so you gotta be careful a little bit about it but it's not a problem you can always easily put it back on so yeah and you got all these uh, accessory belt which you can actually move and articulate here so you can actually swing it around I'm gonna show it to you in the detail in a second and then you got all these uh, blue uh, navy blue color painted here as well and so it looks like a robot style you know so it's so many little detail here it looks like a really like a robot you can clearly tell from the back of what is these you know all these flux here so only in a robot you're gonna have these kind of things and if it's a you know human normal batman suit you won't have this kind of stuff anyway so speaking of that there's another version of like this and uh batman uh from the revo tech and that one is a lot cheaper only about 70 80 pounds and they about the same height i believe maybe a little bit smaller i don't know for detail but it definitely cheaper than this one so uh, it also have the uh very nice articulation i think it makes a lot of, it comes with a lot of plastic there's no die cast piece on it so that's why i'm not gonna get it um so it comes with the uh, soles and uh, you can change the chest piece and to the blue and red and all these things so it looks quite cool i'm really tempted to get that one but it just don't have any die cast on it so i just you know probably not gonna go for it because i already have this one um they look very similar anyway but this one is double the price that's the only problem so my question is is it worth it um i don't know really so if you look in detail i mean does it have the elder led lighter point like the iron man's you know iron man had two uh three zero had two lighter point one on the chest if i press it there you can see that one on the eye as well i have to take the helmet off to see uh, press the button and this one doesn't have any lighter point which is so disappointing so you can see that there's an eye has a little blue translucent pass there i thought that that is sort of like saying a hinting that there's a led in the back so you can open some i don't know some cover or something to turn it on just don't seem to have one so yeah so that's the downside but um, what you are getting here is amazing piece of engineering in these figures. And that is a, a true fact here. So if you like a nice range of articulation, I would say go for this guy. This guy is really good. So let's talk about accessories. So this comes with this uh, hoister. I wish you can put it, pack it on the uh, diet uh, like this. You can swivel around if you want to. Uh, so you got two guns. And at the back, you got this... Uh, dagger saw whatever you like call it right knife so you can pack it in the accessory belt and then you can also have another gun on this side which you can easily take it up so this accessory belt you can actually uh, move around you can swivel turn rotate all kind of things you want to do with it it's really cool so you got grenades and all the pouches and stuff like that so that is really nice so see uh, another piece come off again they're not broken okay they are easy can pack it back in so it's just simple as that um that's the only thing with this figure is there's so many little moving parts in this one so just careful not to take out so many parts um all this little thing i'm not sure what these things actually do but <laughs> it is there and i really like this long sniper rifle this is really cool uh it's very long actually and you got the scope here as well which is uh, some uh painted silver effect on it so if i move this hand up away so you can see the uh, you, arm can swivel around bicep can move you can double joint arms and uh, also the knee you can go all the way there up there you know it's really nice articulation is insanely good and you can move all kind of things in here it's amazing so you can see the uh the what do you call this that chest part the chest part you can actually you got two joints here one on the waist one on the chest so you can turn pretty 90 percent diagonal on this side all right uh, you can go the other side as well 
which is insanely good. I mean, you got a lot of range of movement. And also, you can make it look like this, okay? I don't know how you're gonna see that as a pose. <laughs> and then you can also crouch it down really well, okay? Um, so at the back, you can see when you crouch it, and you can see that there's a little bit gap here. So that's a little bit ugly part. But as long as you don't go too far, I think you can do pretty well on that one. But anyway, so you got really nice range of articulation. That is really insanely good. And you can move the shoulder pad here as well. And then you can bring this uh, whole arms down. And you can bring it to the front. Um, okay, this is getting, starting to get rude. <laughs> So yeah, so you can see a lot of posability. I mean, guarantee that um, posability is not gonna be an issue. And the only thing that I would say to you that is it worth the money? Um, Two hundred pound. That is a lot of money. I would say. Um, so if you can get this one on the L uh, sales, then go for it. If you can't, then I wouldn't say, yeah, don't don't go for it. This is too expensive. But obviously, if you like it, you know, like this uh, in robot style Batman mode, then yeah, that this one is really good idea. Or if you like the uh, Revo Tech version, which is half the price of this, uh, maybe tr even three times. If this is not on sales, I would say three times the price uh, cheaper. And um, go for that one. So for the die cast part here, I would say only this die is cold to touch. And the joints feel nice and solid and steady. So I think they are used made of die cuts. I can see there's some kind of metal part inside the uh, neck here. So the neck is really good range as well. You can see that you can go really nice range. It's sort of like a Sentinel, uh, you know, uh, fighting armor line. Uh, speaking of Sentinel fighting armor line, I actually bought the uh, two more on pre-order, which is a War Machine and a Black Panther. And also, I got uh, two more uh, from the uh, Tree Zero uh, Iron Man Mark 46 and also the Iron Patriot. So I have pre-ordered all these guys already and I can't wait to get them because they are really nice figures and they are not that expensive as Hot Toys or the some of the uh, metal you know, build robot. So I definitely recommend you to go for these Tree Zero and the Sentinel Fighting Armor because they are fairly reasonable price and then they got a lot of die cards and very good articulations and so on and so forth but this one on the other hand is a different lead um, it's not that you know uh, it's overpriced I would say it's really is overpriced um, it's more like a metal robot line um, metal build band from a Gundam from Met, you know uh, Bandai uh, in terms of the weight wise I'm surprised to say this one looks, you know, uh, big. And it's actually about the same height. It's just a little bit bigger, I would say, right? But if I put it on the scales, uh, I have already tested it out, and they weigh exactly the same, about 190 grand. <laughs> I don't know how it's happened. And the Iron Man seems to be heavier when I pick it up. When I pick this guy up, it feels a lot lighter. You know, this is insanely light. So I thought this is gonna be half the weight of this. No, they are actually the same weight. I don't know how it happened. It's just crazy, you know? <laughs> I don't know how to say this. Um, to prove you that, I can turn on the scales here and show it to you. So this is no accessory, just a guns on there. So if I put this on, okay, I didn't put the feet up properly. All right, so the weight is showing here, look at that. 182 grand if I put all the guns and everything this is gonna be about 190 as well so here's the Iron Man if I put this on 190 you know I, I just don't understand how it's happening <laughs> this one seems to be heavier when you feel it in your hand and nice and solid but this guy is so light but it still ended up the same so they must use some kind of like uh, internal structure in a, some die cast frame or something like that. But anyway, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and hopefully it helps you to make up your mind. The whole point of me making a YouTube channel is that I don't expect to make money from the YouTube actually. But if you can actually hit me a subscribe or like button and that I'll be really appreciated. It gave me encouragement and you know, 
to move on and then to do more videos and stuff like that I mean the whole point is I just want to show all these figures and I want to share my thoughts and suggestion to the other collector like me in the world and that's the whole point so I don't want them to make the same mistake as I have made or you know and see what I have done and I put my time and effort for these videos to make it happen so yeah so if you can subscribe I never mentioned it in any of my videos actually ever once saying that I subscribe and like or anything like that I never suggested or hinted anything because I never thought about making any money from the YouTube. Uh, I just want to share my hobbies with the world uh, about what I find on these figures, and uh, you know. And now I'm starting to think about uh, maybe, uh, maybe I should get a little bit from the YouTube. That would be nice and give me a little bit of encouragement to carry on, isn't it? So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.